So in the last lecture, we created a MongoDB database in Atlas and we also copied the connection string of the Atlas server and we have pasted it in a notepad. Now what we want is using that connection string, we want to connect our Express application to the database which we created in the last lecture. So in the last lecture, we created this quick chat database and now we want to connect to this quick chat database from our Express application. And in the last lecture, we also copied this connection string. Now using this connection string, we are able to connect to our Atlas server where all our databases are hosted. But now what we want is instead of connecting to our Atlas server, we want to connect to a specific database. In this case, we want to connect to this quick chat database. So for that, we can modify this connection string and after this last slash, we can specify the database name to which we want to connect. In this case, the database name is quick chat. And now we are going to use this connection string in order to connect to this quick chat database from our Express application. So first of all, in the Express application, in this config.env file, we are going to create a new environment variable and I'm going to call it as con string. Okay, and to this, we are going to assign this connection string. So I'll copy it from here. Let's go back to VS Code and let's paste it there. All right, let's save this file. Next, let's go to server.js. And now, in order to connect to our MongoDB database from this Express application, we need another package to install. And the package which we want to install here is Mongoose. So let me go ahead and let me clear the terminal here. And from the NPM, we are going to install Mongoose. Okay, and since we are not specifying any version here, it is going to install the latest version of Mongoose. If I press enter, it should start installing Mongoose for this Node.js application. Now, Mongoose is a third party library which allows us to communicate to MongoDB database and create and execute MongoDB commands from our Node.js application. So, using this Mongoose package, we are going to connect to MongoDB database and we are also going to execute some commands on the MongoDB database from our Express application using Mongoose. All right, so Mongoose has been installed. Let's just verify that. For that, let's go to package.json file and there in the dependencies, you will see that Mongoose version 8 has been installed for this project. Now let's go to server.js and here let's use Mongoose for connecting to our MongoDB database. And instead of writing the code of connecting to database from our Express application here in the server.js file, what I'll do is I'll create a new folder in the server folder and I'm going to call it as config. And inside this config folder, we are going to keep all our configuration files. And in this config folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it as dbconfig.js. So it is also going to be a JavaScript file. And inside this file, we are going to write the logic for connecting to MongoDB database. So the first thing which we need is we need to require the mongoose package because using the mongoose package only, we are going to connect to MongoDB database. And let's go ahead and let's assign it to a variable and let's also call it as mongoose. Now this mongoose, it is an object and this object provides us with some methods which we can make use of. So first of all, on this mongoose, we can call a method called connect. And to this connect method, we need to specify the connection string of the database to which we want to connect. And we are storing that connection string in this constring environment variable. So let's go ahead and let's access this constring environment variable. For that, we can access the process object. There we have this env object. And on that, we can access this con string and this is going to return us the connection string so we are passing that connection string to this connect method and now we are going to check the connection state so this line of code here it is basically going to connect to mongodb database and now we want to check the connection state 
for that on this mongoose we are going to call a property called connection so this is going to return us the connection state of the mongodb database so let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable let's simply call it as db so now what we can do is on this db we can listen for an event and here we are going to listen for connected event okay so if the connection is successful in that case this mongoose.connection is going to emit a connected event but if the connection is not successful in that case an error will be emitted so we are checking for that connected event if the connection is successful this connected event will happen and if this connected event happens let's run this callback function and there let's simply try to log db connection successful okay in the same way if the connection is not successful then in that case an error will happen so we are going to listen for that error so the event name is err and if the error happens in that case again we are going to execute a callback function let's again use console.log and there let's say db connection failed okay so here we are checking the db connection so these two events will check whether the connection is successful or some error has occurred all right and finally from here we are going to export this db so here let's say module.exports and what do we want to export we want to export the db let me close this terminal for now so this is the code which we need to write in config.js file here we are requiring this mongoose package using that mongoose package we are connecting to our mongodb database using this connection string then we are checking the state of the connection by using this connection property so it is going to return us a db object on that db object we are checking if any connected event has happened if the connected event has happened that means the database connection was successful but if the connected event has not happened if some error has occurred if this error event has happened that means the connection was not successful and finally we are exporting that database object from this dbconfig.js file let's save this file now in the server.js file here we are going to import that db so here let me go ahead and let me write this import statement this request statement so here i'm going to create a variable i'll call it db config okay and here we are going to use this require function again in order to require whatever we are exporting from dbconfig.json file so the dbconfig.json file is present in the config directory so from the current directory let's go to config directory and in that we have dbconfig.js file and from that dbconfig.js file we are exporting this db object so that will be assigned to this db config let's save this file and we don't need to do anything else here now here what will happen is since we have imported this db config file here so what it is going to do is it is also going to execute this dbconfig.js file and once this code is executed after that only this db object will be exported from here right so when this server.js file will be executed at this line it is also going to execute dbconfig.js file and in the dbconfig.js file we are writing the logic to check the connection string so if we are seeing this message db connection successful that means the connection to mongodb is successful but if we are seeing this message db connection failed that means the connection was not successful so let's go to the terminal and here you will see first we have this message listening to requests on port 5000 so our application is running on port number 5000 and you'll also see this message db connection successful that means our express application is successfully connected to this quick chat database okay now in this quick chat database for now i'm going to delete this collection because we are going to create this collection from our express application so i want to delete this users collection here 
all right i only want to keep that database so that database is there but since we don't have any collection in that that's why we are not seeing that database listed here okay but that database is there all right now since we are connected to our quick chat database from our express application in the next coming lectures we are going to create a user schema and using that user schema we are going to create a users collection in our quick chat database from our express application so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day